Hello and welcome to Country Life Simple. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. I know you're keen on baking another bread with me. So today I want to bake a spelt bread. Well, actually I'm going to bake it tomorrow, but obviously I got to prepare it today. Um, as you probably know in my last videos, I normally keep a, um, a rye sourdough starter in my fridge, Otto, which I just took out of the fridge. And there's not much in it, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this all. And I will show you a technique on how you can get some of your starter back from the bread you're currently baking, if you don't actually want to keep the starter in the fridge at all. So join me and let's do this. So I zeroed the scale with Otto, my starter, because there's not much left in there. I can't really scrape too much out for another bread. And I measure 120 grams of water. And then I'm going to mix this all up nicely. Once I mix this all nicely and scrape the sides off so that they loosen, I'll add 120 grams of spelt flour. And this jar is probably too small. Mm -hmm. Yep. But that's all right. I've got a a bowl right next to me here. So we're going to move it over. So now I'm going to mix these ingredients together. And let them rise overnight for about 16 to 20 hours. We'll also add a soaker, I think it's called in English. I'm not 100% sure, but it is to make the outside of the bread nice and soft. So we use 135 grams of water. and 27 gram of spelt flour as well as 14 grams of salt. And we boil this and then let it cool down. So this is the sourdough starter mixture, 120 grams of spelt flour, 120 grams of water and I would say probably about 10 grams of starter. I use my rice starter but if you have wheat starter or um, spelt starter you can use that. And then this is the soaker, if that's what it's called in English, I don't know. Um, this is boiled water, flour and um, spelt flour. So I cover these up and leave them overnight. The soaker I'm actually going to put in the fridge and the um, starter I'm just going to leave on the bench top. It's warmish, it's probably about 30-ish degrees. Nighttime temperature is around 20 so it should be fine to be able to bake tomorrow. So stay tuned. It's the next day and this is how the starter now looks like it's got some bubbles uh, yeah it's got some structure it has risen so that looks good and i just took the soaker dough out of the fridge to bring it to room temperature so now 
we mix 175 grams of warm water and 520 grams of spelt flour and then we add the starter and the odorless the, sorry the the soaker dough and this dough we're preparing now it's called an odorless dough and that's basically just to so spell flour is quite dry um, and sometimes the bread can turn out quite dry so you mix this up like this with the um, the soaker to keep the moisture in and to um, uh, make the uh, the crust nice and soft and not hard and we're just making this mixing this up and then let it rest for 30 minutes so you see this dough is actually quite dry and crumbly we want to keep the moisture in the bread so it's soft and not dry so this is all mixed up now don't worry about if um, you know there's still bits and pieces on the side um, we just let it rest for 30 minutes for the moisture to go through the um, the flour so I also added 15 grams of butter while I'm kneading the dough and this looks pretty good see how it's sort of basically just one big lump similar to like a pizza dough or a, um, a pasta dough so that is ready to come out so this is the dough out of after kneading and I'm just gonna fold stretch and fold a little bit I'm just basically trying to stretch the dough as much as I can in one direction and fold it onto the other side I'm probably not explaining this really well I always struggle um, and I don't make spelled or um, wheat bread a lot because of that reason well it's one of the reasons I'm just I don't really like the taste of it all that much so now I've got it into a little bowl and I put it back in here a little ball goes back into the bowl put a silicone wrapper over it and let it rest for 45 minutes and then we shall stretch and fold it again all right 45 minutes have passed let's do another stretch and fold The dough feels a lot softer now. rest for another 45 minutes all about that it's pretty warm here might be only about half an hour all right another 45 minutes have passed not quite actually only about half an hour but it is quite warm here so 
so I'll just carefully fold it a little bit just to get it into that shape of my bread tin and this is pretty good consistency if this would be a very soft dough I probably would um, would fold it properly again but this has a pretty good consistency so I'm, I'm happy with that don't want to do too much folding I'm going to put it in here no. <laughs> needs to be a little bit skinnier and this is just like I just put um, some butter around this You can obviously you can also use um, baking paper in here but I used some butter that should fit neatly now so carefully putting this in and put a towel over it and let it rest for another 90 minutes in quite 90 minutes because it is quite warm and if I do the poke test yeah it's ready to go in the oven so I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on top of it and then I'll put it in the oven it's supposed to go at 250 but my oven maximum the little oven only that's 230 so maximum is preheated to 230 degrees and we're going to cook it bake it for 10 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 200 there it looks pretty good I actually had to um, put it down a bit um, no nope, we want to keep going I'm going to go say another 40 minutes but on 200 degrees 40 oops and then I'll see how it looks I might take it out of the bread tin and just um, bake it without anything looks good eh? And there it is. Very yummy looking. Now it's got to cool down a little. Yeah. And then we give it a go. And no, I didn't wait until it cooled down. All right, let's try it. Mm. Just with fresh butter. 
the outside is nice and crispy. The inside is soft and nutty. Mm, tastes a bit like a, um, a wholemeal bread. Very nice. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there probably won't be a bread video next week because I'm going away to a wedding. So I probably won't have time to bake some bread. I will bake some bread when I return. And I will make a... Um, a rye sandwich loaf so similar to this but out of rye flour as you probably noticed I used all my starter and have forgotten to scrape some of the rising dough but that's all right I did have a little experiment going to freeze my starter and I'm defrosting that and see if I can use this if not I will have enough time to make a new starter for the next loaf so I'm not really too worried um, but yeah, join me next time I do another bread and um, we do a comparison how the dough consistency is and the timing and what the differences are between a spell and a rye. And then after that I'll do a wheat as well just to have like the three main flowers as a comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.